Have you ever had a dream you could fly? Soaring above the crowds of a bustling metropolis, scanning the lives of people below? Perhaps you dream you can dart above stunning natural landscapes without the noises and smells of a plane cabin, only the rushing wind in your ear. Bold humans try to make these dreams reality with the power of invention and a healthy sense of adventure. We dream of doing something that other creatures have been able to do, fly. Birds are incredible marvels of engineering in flight. Even the ones you might think that can't fly, like penguins. Let me explain. This is ASU. Let's talk about flying. And when I say flying, I'm talking about birds, not helicopters or planes. There's something about seeing an animal that can take to the air with just their own power. Now, to be able to fly, you must have two forces that keep you moving and floating, thrust and lift. Birds flap their wings for thrust, and the shape of their wings provides upward lift. If we take a look at a bird at takeoff, they lean forward and prepare their wings to flap to get the forward thrust needed to move air over and under their wings. The shape of the wing is critical to get the lift needed to fly. Birds need to have air passing over the wing moving faster than the air under the wing. If you could see the molecules that move around a wing, the ones that go over the arch part of the wing move faster than the ones moving under the wing. This increases the air pressure below the wing and gives the bird lift to fly. So we know a bit about birds flying. If we are more specific and ask if penguins can fly in the air, the answer is no. But if we change the location, the answer is yes. Penguins can fly. They just fly in water instead of in the air. This is a bird that spends much of its time hunting for fish in the ocean. They need to be very fast to be able to catch their meals. How fast do you think penguins can fly in water? With their streamlined bodies and wings made for water, penguins can fly at speeds faster than the fastest human can run. This is one of nature's fantastic stories of adaptation. There are some birds that swim underwater, like cormorants, but they are paddlers, keeping their wings tucked close in. They only fly in the air. But a few birds, like puffins, they fly in the air and can also fly underwater like penguins. This brings up an important detail that we sometimes forget. Air, like water, is a fluid. Because we don't see air or feel air, we forget that it has molecules in it. Just like other fluids, the main difference is that air molecules are much less dense than the other fluids we usually think of, like liquid water, which is 800 times denser than air. The flow of water and air are both studied as part of a discipline called fluid dynamics. Now that we're thinking of these both as fluids, it's no wonder that a penguin can fly through the ocean on wings, or a puffin can beat its wings to generate thrust in water, just as it does in the air. In fact, you're probably familiar with the part of fluid dynamics that looks at air in motion, aerodynamics a study that began with the dream of humans taking to the sky. This was ASU. Thanks for watching.